Valley. We see a little lightning in and around the valley, but we're waiting for the real rain. Here's a live look at Sedona on this Tuesday morning. All is quiet and a little cooler than here in the valley. They're at 86 degrees right now. Current temperature in Flagstaff's 81. We're in the mid 80s in Payson and Sholo, 81 right now in Prescott. Meanwhile, we're in the triple digits already in the valley. 100 degrees and climbing quickly after a record tying low of 93 degrees and normal lows 85. Our record cold low is 67, but the warmest we've ever been on the state for a low is 93. So we tied that this morning. 118 will set a new record this afternoon, well above average and two degrees above the record for today's date. Set back in 2018. An excessive heat warning continues for today, tomorrow and Thursday. First alert weather days, all three of those days as well for the valley. Heat advisory continues for portions of Gila County. Here's why 106 today in Globe, 100 for Sedona. Look at the deserts of the state really cooking today in Phoenix, 118 degrees. I think tomorrow will be even hotter. Good news. We've got a pattern change coming our way by the end of this week. Right now, a few light showers up near Chino Valley moving into Coconino County right now. Those will continue to kind of fizzle out over the next couple of hours, but by the afternoon hours, things get going in the high country, northern eastern Arizona. Storms that try to push toward the valley kind of fall apart before they make it here, so our chances are very slim for anything making it in tonight. Same story for tomorrow. We get a little more activity on the rim and in eastern Arizona. We'll watch for that activity to come together with these storms to the south. Could push something into the valley. You're at a little higher risk if you're in the East Valley tomorrow night for that. But really the better storm chances come after that as we head more into Thursday. It's Thursday afternoon and evening. We see a little more activity. A big push of moisture arrives late Friday, early Saturday. So more storm activity expected by then, especially over the weekend. More widespread storm activity across the state means a higher chance for the valley. We'll put it at about a 50% chance now for Saturday night during the day Sunday and Sunday night. So this is when we think our heat streak will finally come to an end, likely on Sunday or into Monday, and we'll finally break the dry streak as well in terms of rain we haven't seen here since mid-March. 118, 119 today and tomorrow. Be careful out there. This heat continues to be dangerous with this unprecedented unprecedented long uh, in the length of this heat wave that we have seen by early next week, though, below 110. Finally.